host, Jack, and today we're talking about potential and kinetic energy. So I brought with me today a ramp and a car. If we take a look and I place this ramp like so, this can tell us our potential and kinetic energy. So when our car is at the top of our ramp, that is our potential energy. The higher I make it, the more potential it has to be able to move. So our potential energy has to do with our height or position. Can you say potential energy with me? Potential energy. So that is the energy of position. Now, once the car starts moving, if it goes halfway, it is starting to convert that energy into our energy of motion, which we call kinetic energy. Can you say that with me? Kinetic energy. So as it goes down, at the bottom, that's when it would have the most kinetic energy. So let's recap. If we're at the top, what type of energy does our car have? Potential energy. As I let it go, it starts converting into kinetic energy. And at the bottom, we have what? The most kinetic energy. Good job. Now, let's think about a roller coaster. If I draw you a roller coaster, it's gonna be the same thing. At the top up here, if our car was here, I know I'm kind of an amazing artist in case you didn't notice, but up here, what type of energy would we have? All in our highest potential energy. So I'm gonna say we have 100% potential energy. Now, as our car goes to the bottom, what type of energy do we have at the bottom? This would be 100% kinetic energy. So remember I said it's transferring. So if we went halfway, what would our energy look like halfway in between these two? Did you guess it yet? So we would have half potential, half kinetic energy since we're in between, right in the middle. So here we would have 50% potential energy and 50% kinetic energy. So that is how our potential energy converts into kinetic energy. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.